Do you want to be seen as the go-to gal in your industry or niche? We all know that the best way to earn more as a virtual assistant is to be seen as an expert in your niche. And unfortunately, that kind of status doesn't just happen by accident. If you want to stand apart as an expert in your industry, it's going to take immersing yourself totally into your niche and showing up consistently for your audience. In today's episode of The Support Squad, I'm going to be sharing four steps to becoming an expert in your niche. So step number one is to choose an area of focus that absolutely excites you. So of course your virtual assistant business is going to change and evolve over time and that's totally okay. You can choose an area of focus now and then change it later. But I will say that it's best to give about six months of focus into a specific niche in order to build yourself up as an expert in that area. So since you'll be focusing on just one area for about six months at a time, it's really important that you're super excited about that subject and area area of focus. Because not only does that excitement become a magnet for potential clients, trust me, look into the law of attraction, but it also is going to hold your interest and keep you from being bored as you totally immerse yourself in your niche. Which brings me to step number two. You're going to have to immerse yourself into your niche entirely. I'm talking about you need to learn everything about it. Read all the podcasts, uh, read podcasts, listen to the podcasts, check the blogs, and um, do everything you can. Become friends with other people in your industry or niche. Have conversations constantly about new and exciting things coming up in your industry. You're going to need to learn a lot if you're going to be the expert. So one thing I definitely recommend doing is signing up for the newsletters and emails of any kind of service or software that is commonly used within your niche. For example, let's say you want to be seen as the go-to girl for Pinterest management. Make sure you're subscribed to get updates from Tailwind when they're introducing new best practices or new services and things like that. You want to be the source for information. You don't want to you don't ever want to be in a situation where your client comes to you and knows more about something than you did. Like imagine if your client said, hey, did you see that Tailwind update? And you had no idea what they were talking about. I mean, of course, that's not the end of the world, but in order to be a true expert, make sure you're fully immersing yourself. So step number three, form your own opinions and strategies. So after you've totally immersed yourself in the world of your industry and taken in all of the information that you can about it, I want you to sit back and take some time to reflect on what you've learned. Because what sets run-of-the-mill service providers apart from real experts and leaders in their niche is that the experts and the leaders are going to take the information that everyone else has, but they're going to evaluate and analyze it to create their own perspective, their own spin, their own best practices, their own strategies that really make it work for them. So if you want to set your, yourself apart, you can't just be regurgitating information. Yes, it's great to be sharing current industry and trends, but you also want to have your own unique perspective on it. And this is, a, this is the time when it's okay to be a little bit polarizing. We've learned that when we are a little bit polarized, when we have you know strong thoughts and opinions sure it's going to turn away some people but it's also going to make you really stand out to the people that you want to be working with the people that are really attracted to your ideas so don't be afraid to put your own spin on things and have your own opinions all right so step number four this is our last one and it is so important after you've done all of these things what you need to do to now be seen as the expert is is to show up with consistency. So I know for me, when I wanted to become seen as an expert in the virtual assistant industry, and when I wanted to make sure that people saw me that way, I knew that I needed people to be able to expect something from me on a regular basis. And that was how the Support Squad podcast was born. I was like, I need people to expect that they can hear from me week after week and hear from me on a regular basis. And you need to find your own way of doing that. 
It doesn't have to be a podcast, that's a pretty big undertaking, but maybe it's mini trainings daily on your Instagram, or maybe it's a YouTube video once a week, or, you know, fun reels or, um, TikTok videos every week or something like that. Whatever it is, own it, make it your own, put your own brand, your own personality, your own stamp on it, and I want you to make sure that you are committed to showing up week after week in that same aspect because you have to teach people what to expect from you. You can't just pop in and out with random information. They're not going to see you a leader in that way. They want to know that you can show up in the same way over a period of time. That's how they learn to recognize you, your brand, and your unique personality and perspective. So now that you have these steps on how to become an expert in your niche, you can see that it's pretty easy. You just have to know a lot about what you're doing, love what you're doing, have your own thoughts and opinions on it, and then share it with people in a consistent and fun way. This isn't rocket science, you guys. And you know what? It doesn't, you don't have to be a virtual assistant for years and years to start to come up with a strategy like this. This is going to work for, for you even if you're a brand new virtual assistant. Start to own your brand. Step into that role as a business owner and as a leader and as an expert in your industry. And I promise you, it will play, pay off with high quality clients, um, a higher income. You're going to meet those goals and I can't wait to see what you do.